Hey guys, what's happening? So, check out this little X ray 118 micro uh, nitro. Yeah, it's probably the world's smallest nitro uh, car. Uh, this thing's probably, um, I got it in a big eBay lot, and it's a point ACC, or excuse me, point eight cc uh, engine. I'm not sure who makes it though. Um, so, it is locked up. So my goal is I'm just going to clean this whole thing up, unlock it, fix all the issues with it. And uh, it came actually with a Huddy starter too. So a micro nitro, nitro starter, you know, pump box. Right here is the body. Pretty cool. And then inside the box, just some accessories. But yeah, I wanted to clean it up and get it restored and working again. Actually came with the. It looks like it, had, it came with a Futaba, an old style like a Magnum Junior Futaba uh, transmitter receiver. And just came with our certificate of authenticity. Okay. Yep. All right, we'll get it going. So I'm gonna clean it up. So on the next part of the video, you'll see clean and ready to go. So one of the wheels is stuck on, but it's, it's actually two-wheel drive. No, it's four-wheel it's four drive. <laughs> and uh, it looks like the axles are plastic. So, yeah, the reason why I didn't clean this one with the other lot is because the uh, Futaba receiver was open. It wasn't waterproof, so I had to take all the uh, battery out. I'm going to cycle the battery, try to recover uh, the battery. i got to take all this out. And uh, let's just pop out. Got to rewire everything, make it look nice and clean. Here's a closer, closer look. It has a slide curb. And it actually has diffs too. I mean, already looked, it has differentials. It doesn't have a, more if it's a center diff or just a so Probably not a center diff, but it's an NT 18. Alright, let's go take this over to the uh, wash tank. There's a little crud cutter in there. I'm also going to take this, the tank out in ultrasonic and clean it. All that tank is. Put the little screw there to keep the cap open. Ultrasonic and clean this thing. Alright, sorry for the background noise. I'm doing some printing, but got to keep on moving here. So i got to unlock this uh, engine here. So I'm going to put a little, uh, this little uh, PB blaster. Down the carb, and I'm also going to take off uh, the uh, glow plug here. This one looks pretty good. God, it shouldn't ever be stored at the top, you know. I store the bottom dead center. Yeah, after a couple seconds here, maybe we'll ungum it up. So I just want to just go back and forth. Not doing the full rotations yet. There we go. We can see that the piston going up and down. Cool. Unstuck. Still gonna let it soak though. All right, guys. Got to go. It's been a couple days. Let's turn this on. Can't figure out the steering why it's. It seems like it's opposite the the transmitter. So I turn it on. Like right now, it's powered on. The uh, receiver's powered on. So as soon as I turn this on, it goes crazy. So there's something going on with the receiver telling it to turn. Let's try that. No difference in the trim. So, let's try that again. Throttle works. All right, cool. Yeah, I don't think I'm gonna keep this just because I don't really, I'm never gonna drive it, you know, so probably end up putting this on back on eBay. Um, yeah, because all I really want, all I really wanted was a Mugen in the lot, so I got an Opta and this thing and uh, with it. So, um, cool, cool little car. Yeah, awesome.